Thank you for being here. My name is Mark Shalanta, and I'm the CEO of SDN Communications. I'd like to start by uh, saying thank you to Dakota State University and the South Dakota Telecommunications Association for joining SDN as the co-host for this conference. I'd also like to thank Consortia Consulting and Vantage Point Solutions for sponsoring the reception tonight, and Finley Engineering and High Point Networks for sponsoring the coffee breaks. There's a broad range of industries uh, represented here today, and I'd like you to raise your hand uh, to just demonstrate the different t industry cross-sections we have when I call out different industry sectors. So if you're from the telecommunications sector, which is what I'm from, if you'd raise your hand. Yeah, good, good showing from the telecommunications industry. Uh, how about IT, kind of information technology, if you represent IT, great. Thank you for participating today. How about the energy sector? We've had a number of folks uh, invited. Great, good to see you. Financial services? Oh, yeah. Uh, how about local, state, tribal, or federal government representatives? We've got a few of them in the room as well. Great, thank you. How about healthcare? Okay, great. Uh, manufacturing? Excellent. We're catching all the bases today. And how about uh, maybe anyone who fits into another category, one I haven't called. If I haven't called a category that fits you, we uh, outline that. Nope. All right. So you can see we've got a large and diverse uh, audience today. And that underscores the importance of uh, cybersecurity and the growing threat uh, cyber crimes pose to each of our organizations. Really, regardless of your company size or industry sector, each of us faces uh, growing rapidly, this growing rapidly and evolving threat. As we begin this two-day training, I'd like to share, uh, to share several alarming figures with you. Uh, so 20% of all cyber attacks affect businesses with fewer than 250 employees. Another item that uh, I found of interest is that approximately 60% of small businesses close within six months of a cyber attack. So what a huge threat on really business continuity in our country. So obviously cyber security should be part of every business continuity plan. U.S. cyber insurance premiums for 2014 reached $2 billion. And this is another one that I found uh, almost staggering, but the median time an intruder is on a network before discovery, it was nearly half a year, 146 days. So think five months of somebody poking around your network before you figured out that they're on your network. Again, I found that staggering. 53% of victims didn't know they were attacked until being notified by an outside party, such as the FBI, Department of Homeland Security, or even one of their customers. These are sobering facts, but there is good news. Each organization in this room can take steps to boost its resilience and reduce its risk. The NIST cybersecurity framework is an excellent tool organizations can use to strengthen an existing cybersecurity program or create a program from scratch. The framework is voluntary, flexible, and scalable. It directs organizations to focus on risk management and challenges them to think critically about their unique operations, cybersecurity threats, and vulnerabilities. At SDN Communications, it was valuable for our company to work through the framework. It resulted in the creation of a cross-functional team, careful evaluation of our existing policies and procedures, and constructive dialogue that has further strengthened our cybersecurity programs. When it comes to cybersecurity, really the job is never done. The threats keep on evolving, and so must SDN, and so much to each organization in this room. While the prospect of working through the framework can be daunting, we are hoping the next two days will give you the necessary knowledge and tools so you can return to your organization and begin using the framework. We have assembled an outstanding lineup of experts who will be sharing their insights and expertise. I encourage you to ask them questions after their presentations and network with them at the reception and during the coffee breaks. Following our conference, our team at SDN will also be a resource uh, to help you work through the framework. You've taken an important first step by signing up to be here, and the framework is a useful tool, and I'm excited to have you gather, 
to have so many gathered to learn about it. In closing, I'd like to say a big, thanks, a big thank you to each of our speakers for taking the time to share their knowledge. This conference provides a unique opportunity to learn about the framework from leading government and industry experts. I would like to say special thanks to Matt Barrett and Celia Paulson with the National Institutes of Standards and Technology, or NIST. They played an instrumental role in developing the framework, and we are fortunate to have them here with us. Thank you also to Reggie McKinney from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security for joining us. Reggie leads the critical infrastructure C-Cubed, the voluntary program at DHS. This program works with critical infrastructure operators to improve their cybersecurity resiliency. Thank you, Matt, Cecilia, Reggie, and all of our speakers for being here. Thank you.